Hello and welcome all in this video. So I am Dr. Jay Kumar Shamraj. Now going to discuss about two important points in pond maintenance that is restoration and improvement of pond bottom and liming. These are the two important points in the pond maintenance for this video. So in case of pond maintenance restoration and improvement of pond bottom is again become a important important point because all the ponds are required to be drained dry once in a year it is very essential to drain dry the ponds once in a year and it is essential to retain the productivity of ponds so draining and drying is very important for the increasing the productivity of the pond the drain and dry once in a year to retain the productivity as due to this draining draining can reduce mineralization of soil particularly when it has grown rich in cellulose content so owing to accumulation of submerged vegetation and draining is very important again some fish parasites and disease producing germs and various stages of their life cycle of that disease producing germs or parasite some harmful insects etc are destroyed due to the draining the roots of emergent vegetation live uh, lying deep in the soil use up the nutrients when we drained the pond which would have otherwise been used by the fish for their growth after drying the pond's productivity is increased and suppose they are having some requirement of repairs so required repairs which can be which cannot be done when the pond is under water can be carried out after drying the pond so these are some important point for the draining of the pond water due to the draining of the pond water we can due to the draining we can increase the productivity of the pond the fish parasites or the germs or their stages harmful insect stages or leeches can be destroyed after drying the pond's productivity is increased and suppose there is having some require repair requirements of repair which can be done when the pond is under uh, when the pond is drained out so these are some important point uh, important uh, things in the restoration and impro improvement of the pond bottom now the second one again important point that is the liming liming so after drying lime is spread over the bottom which improves the productivity of the pond after drying after draining lime is spread over the bottom of the pond which improves productivity as like that liming has an anti parasitic action liming has an anti parasitic action then it kills harmful aquatic insects and their larvae it can kills harmful aquatic insects and their larvae it destroys lime destroys unwanted algae and aquatic weeds for short period of time then liming can improve the ph of the pond liming can improve the ph of the pond and is restored to almost normal that is the ph is in between 7 to 9 after the liming then calcium of lime neutralize the harmful action of magnesium sodium and potassium salts due to the liming the calcium which is present in the lime can neutralize the harmful action of mg na and k salts some cellulose components deposited at the bottom by weeds are decomposed by lime cellulose compo components which are deposited at the pond bottom can be decomposed with the help of the liming then liming brings about the mineralization of organic matters and so prevent spreading of parasites and the bacterial diseases in the presence of lime 
the ammonium compounds are nitrified into nitrites and nitrates with the help of the lime the ammonium compounds which are present in the pond nitrified into nitrites and nitrates and normal alkalinity is restored in the pond bottom in the in the pond liming conditions then liming condition the pond and acts like fertilizers liming acts like fertilizers also so different types of limes uses in different doses the types of limes the respect to doses and method of applications are determined according to the physical chemical and biological properties of the pond the main form of lime used in the ponds includes main form of the uh, lime which are in, uh, which are uh, used in the pond includes ground limestone ca co thrice then quick lime cao then hydrated lime that is cao twice and calcium cyanamide these are some important limes are used in the pond and liming is done by spreading the lime uniformly over the pond's bottom liming is done by spreading uniformly over the bottom and the here the lime is spread or retained about two weeks the spread layer is retained as such for about two weeks during which all the germs their cysts are killed the liming rate of different types of lime in pond soil is that is ground lime can be spread about 1140 kg per hectare per hectare then hydrated lime are used hydrated lime are used 114 kg per hectare and calcium cyanamide and like quick lime there are having the quick lime that quick lime is spread about 2 kg per hectare so these are the required amount of lime required amount amount of uh, liming spread in the pond water so these are two important point that is restoration and improvement of pond bottom and liming is discussed in this video so again there are having some important points about the pond maintenance can be discussed in the up, in our upcoming videos so if you like this video then subscribe the channel and share this video with your friends thank you